make sure that his business wasn't one of them. So he came to his business, which has been in his family since 1986, along with some of his former employees and friends, and they have taken matters or the protection into their own hands. So they've been out here all evening long, and you told me, Joe, that it got pretty dicey for a while. It sure did. It, uh, you know, uh, when they started dispersing and moving the crowd, and I think it was uh, Broadway and Colorado that took the majority of that crowd, and it, they pushed them down. And it, uh, it was pretty. It was a good thing I had my customers and my friends by my side because it was pretty scary. Why did you decide to do this? Why did you decide? And, and guard it yourself. Well, you know, the Santa Monica Police Department, we could see the crowds, they're, they're over, overran. There was a lot going on, and they could, you know, they were all over the place. And there was nobody that was going to take this uh, into their own hands. I mean, it, it had to come down to the business owners and the neighbors and friends that I have. You were telling us also that you were helping guard other businesses, uh, fr uh, yeah, owners. It was like a little network, you know. Uh, uh, funnel mill I've uh, been friends with 10 years and and uh, we just kind of look out for each other and and we have each other's backs and you know we don't want it we get it we get you know we we get it you know that protesting is good but the looting and the uh, vandalism is not good I mean, when so, the looter saw you out here armed did they say anything to you oh we got a few comments you know but uh, that was as far as it went once they seen the gun the ar-15 and the nine millimeter they just uh okay you know we don't want none of that and we're seeing a torch car over there on the corner and you said you actually saw that happen can you explain what you saw yeah uh, you know we were just sitting here when uh you know a lot of the protesters were coming up uh broadway and then all of a sudden we just heard the crash into the pole and uh we looked and the guy gets out of the car and he's he comes over and gets his stuff out, and he takes off and runs down the high, you know, the, the alley here. And uh, the only thing that we could think of is it was probably, it looked like it was an um, Audi, and uh, it was probably stolen from the, the car lot on the next block. You know, we're very glad that you're safe, and aside from some shattered glass, that your business is okay. Thank, Thank you, you, you very much. much for talking to us. That's the latest from Santa Monica. I'll send it back to you very brave store owner tonight who is defending his property, his livelihood. Christy, thank you so much. You know, there might be one uh, sort of a silver lining so far.